Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw an axolotl. That is really hard to say, but we're going to go through it. It's going to be simple, easy for beginners, so follow along with me and you can know how to draw one as well. Let's do it. So first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw a circle for this side of the face. Okay. We're going to go in and we're going to start curve. We're going to draw a curve along the top for the top of the head. So right here now. Like so. All righty. We're going to actually curve around here on this side. And we're going to keep drawing like so. Curve along the side. And then now we're going to, he has this like funny looking face, um, <laughs> which we'll go over. So we're going to, it's like a curve over here, kind of like, it's going to be like a, almost sad, right? But not quite. It's going to curve up at the end over here. And it's also going to curve up a little bit at the other side. Line, line. There you go. All right. We're going to go in and draw the eyes. It's going to have kind of these dots for eyes. So for the most part, it's just a simple, looks like a button eye almost. Circle right there. Go over here on this side and draw this, the other one pretty close to the side. I want to have that. There we go. Okay. So far, so good. Put a line through it to make it look like that's the highlight of the eye. And then we're going to draw two dots over here. One on this side, one on this side. Over here now, curve. Curve for the nostrils on the outside of the nose. Don't forget, by the way, to hit the like button if you like what we're doing here. Um, it's much appreciated. It sends out the video to more people when you do do that. Going to go... Now we're going to curve in just a bit on this side. And we're going to find the body. So I'm going to start about this point and curve underneath. Okay. Line over here. Curve underneath. It's going to be a space over here on this area. We're just going to leave a gap. And then we're going to continue. We're going to keep curving up. So over here now, curve up. Stay with me, by the way. We're almost done, believe it or not. So curve over here. Another space, okay? Then we'll start at this point, and then we're going to curve up, down, up, okay? So we're going to go up, curve, down, up. All this stuff, by the way, so let's go slowly. Curve up, down, up. All of this stuff, by the way, you just want to be close enough. It doesn't. You don't have to be exact. It's nothing about. It's not about being exact. It's about just kind of. You know what I mean? Just kind of having fun and you know learning and you want it to just vaguely look like what it is. So let's go over here and draw the arms and legs. So right now I'm going to draw a line from about here to cur and curve it downward. Line over here, down. Over here in this area, line over here, down. Now we can connect this part of the body right here. That's what we left the gap for. Let's go over here now to the far side arm. So we're going to start maybe about this point or so. Curve down. Pulling out over here. Out. And same thing from this point. We're going to pull out right there for kind of from the elbow area. Let's draw some digits on him. So right here we're going to draw a curve line in, like a V shape, little line, and then more or less another like long nail shape, curve shape, long nail shape here. Going over here, splay out, out over here, out over here, out over here, out over here, right there. So we have another splayed hand. Let's go to the back of the leg over here, and we're going to start around this area. We're going to curve like a U. So right there, we're going to draw like a curved U shape. So start on the inside just a bit. Curve like that, like a U shape. Over here on this side, we're going to pull inward. And then we're going to go over here and draw another curve, almost like where it's like a rope or something. Curve like so. And then we're going to have more digits on this side. Hopefully you're following along, by the way. Let me know what you think. If there's an, maybe another animal you want me to draw, let me know. Out, in, out, in, out, in. 
right there. When you, you just complete his foot. Cool. Let's go into, you know, some of his famous features, okay? So we're going to go over here and we're going to pull a line from here out. Here out. And then we're going to pull in. Okay? Do another one over here. Looks like a tendril, right? You can just kind of make it wavy. You don't. It doesn't have to be exact. And draw one more over here. And then we're going to go over here on this side. And we're going to draw up, down. Same thing on this side. We're going to draw six, right? You can kind of just draw them splayed out. Just these little tendrils. Okay? So far, so good, right? Stay with me now. We're, we're good. We're, get, we're nearing the end now. And you're going to have this in your mind forever, hopefully. So... Outside of these, think of these as like leaves, you know, like the way leaves are when you draw leaves. So like, let's take this, consider this the stem of that leaf. So right here, we're going to draw, and does, you don't have to count them or anything like that. Around it, we're going to draw these little leaf-like shapes, essentially. Right? And do that on the outside of all of these guys. Just kind of just, you know, again, like you're drawing like a cloud or whatever. Just do that like so. You're wrapping it around there. Be careful. You could they could touch each other like that one, but they don't have to. Um, if you have to overlap them, you know, we'll do that. We might have to overlap one over here, so let's try one. So around like so. And let's keep going over here. Actually kind of overlapped right there. I put that one behind it. And then last one over here. Right on. Let's go over here now. We're going to finish the tail. So we're going to copy this shape and we're going to put it on this side. Okay. I'm going to just go over here, pulling up, and it's kind of tapering down at the end. Right on. Now we get to give the tail, I think this is probably one of the last steps, we're going to give the tail some depth. So same way we did this, we're going to do a very similar thing. But maybe we can do it like a little bit softer. I'm not going to put it as, as jagged as that one. Something like that. Just like a wiggly shape around it. And it's going to look like that tendrily part of that shape. As far as just extra details go, his leg, uh, his leg, his neck is bending. So I'll throw maybe a line right there to get, make it, you know, kind of merge into the picture here. Line right here. Maybe a line underneath his arm and his armpit. Again, this kind of merges the character, like it kind of just attaches it. Um, and if you want, you can draw like a uh, like a little line right here, and that's pretty much it. That is pretty much it. Uh, if you want, like a little line right here for underneath the mouth. But I want to thank you very much. Uh, you are amazing. I want you to download the free ebook. We have a free cute drawing ebook in the description. So if you ever want to learn how to draw something adorable and cute. We, I give you a guide because it shows you how to make things big and small, like the bigger head and a smaller body, but how big of a head, how small of a body. I go through all of that stuff. It is 10 pages. It's a guide, and it is 100% images, you know? So you just look at it, and whoopsie, I hit the microphone. So you just look at it, and you're like, okay, now I know how to draw cute stuff. That's it. You just look at it, and the cool part is you're never going to forget it because it's so simple, right? It's just stuff that we don't normally practice but that's a free guide in the description go down there and get it because i'm going to start charging for it probably in a few months so absolutely get it while it's free right now so thank you so much i'll see you in the next video so let's get on to the next drawing lesson okay so that was amazing you finished this lesson but keep it going keep the art practice going by clicking this video right here it's going to be within the same theme and you wanna keep it rolling to get better and better and better and get that art flow going. So click right here.